I would like to request that you pay close attention, my lovely child, because I have a message that is just designed for you. Despite the fact that it may seem that there is no light in your world at the time, you should keep in mind that I am always ready to ignite. I will illuminate your environment and shed light on the path that lies ahead of you as you make your way forward. I will teach you the path step by step. All that is required of you is to make a request, and I will bring that spark that is situated inside you into your reality. Throughout the journey, you will come across a wide range of resources, some of which may seem to be apparent, while others may be less evident disguised as problems or impediments. Despite this, I highly urge you to investigate them in further detail. I want you to be aware that even the most challenging situations have the potential to be transformed into stepping stones that take you to the genuine purpose that you were meant to fulfill. Take into account the fact that water is capable of functioning as a stepping stone in and of itself. Every single item that has the capacity to renew you has the same potential to extinguish your light if it is handled badly. This is the duality that can be found in everything that happens in life, including every experience, every contact, and every event. Emotion has the ability for both growth and regression. It is up to you to decide how to employ what I give in the most efficient way when you are faced with triggers or conflicts. You have a choice. You can choose to grow or to regress. Emotion possesses both of these capacities. Either you may allow them to extinguish your light and keep you mired in cycles of fear and anger, or you can use them as catalysts for healing and building stronger boundaries in order to create a more positive connection with yourself. Either way, you have the option to use them. It is imperative that you always bear in mind, my kid, that love and fear cannot coexist in the same neighborhood. Without delay, you have the ability to forgive anybody, even yourself, at any given moment. One thing that you should always keep in mind is the importance of forgiveness. To establish which one you will grow, choose love, even when it is difficult. Choose love even when it seems as if the world is working against you. Choose love even when it seems as if the world is working against you. My light shines brightest inside you because of love. And as you continue on your journey, you will discover methods to improve the light that I have given you. Much like a fire that grows from a song. This is because love is the source of my light. The glimmer of your inner light has the capacity to develop and have an effect on the lives of others who are in your immediate vicinity. Obtaining information about anything is something you should do before taking any further action. Take into consideration if this will make my life better or worse. Whether it will bring more love into the world or feed into fear. And bear in mind that every event you come across is an opportunity for you to develop spiritually. Even those moments that seem to be hurdles on your road, those that appear to be barriers, they are often the same experiences that you need to be able to go through in order to become the person that you want to be. It is crucial that you comprehend that your trip is one of a kind, and that the path that I have mapped out for you is only yours to pursue without any restrictions. It is imperative that you do not let the surrounding commotion to divert your attention away from the reality that you are destined to be my kid. I want you to pay attention to the calm voice that is inside you. It is my voice that is leading you, if you would only open your ears to hear it. By those who claim to be aware of the most effective technique to carry out certain tasks. When you are going through moments of uncertainty, or when you are feeling lost or alone, you should always keep in mind that I am always here, ready to rekindle your flame. All you need to do is ask me questions or chat to me about it. Allow me to reach out with your heart and I will respond to you not always in the ways that you expect, but always in the ways that you need to be patient with yourself as you learn to discern my voice amid the clamor of other voices. The world it takes time and faith to identify the counsel that my God is providing you with 
and to differentiate between your own ambitions and the path that I am leading you towards. But with practice, you will be able to do so. My voice will become more apparent to you as your understanding improves, and you will become more aware of my presence in your day-to-day -day life. You will also notice that my presence is becoming more physically present. Additionally, you will begin to become aware of the fact that every experience is both each happy and sad. Experiences serve a greater purpose. Nothing is wasted. And every tear, every laugh, and every moment of confusion or clarity is being woven into the fabric of these experiences. There is a deeper purpose behind each of these experiences. Remember, my kid, that actual strength does not come from never failing. This is something you should always keep in mind. Even though you may not be able to see the big picture, you should have faith in the person you are becoming as a result of this process. It stems from your capacity to pick yourself up after each and every fall, from your choice to follow my light even during the darkest of nights, from your tenacity and your unbreakable spirit in the face of hardship, and from the fact that you have this ability. It is important to exercise caution with regard to the energy that you bring into your life, just as you would not let energy to enter your life on your own. What brings you closer to me, what brings you closer to your authentic self, and what brings you closer to yourself is the experience of adversity. You should make a deliberate choice to extinguish your lantern. You should be careful of forces that have the potential to dim your inner light, and you should surround yourself with individuals who will fan your fires and push you to continue. It is important that you shine brighter and seek out experiences that will nourish your soul and remind you of the beauty and wonder of the world that I have created. At the same time, you should be conscious of the fact that your light has the potential to illuminate not just your own life, but also the lives of other people. As you grow more steady in your faith and your light shines brighter, you become a beacon for those who are still lost in the darkness. This is true not just for your own journey, but also for the travels of others. In the ways that you continue to transmit my love around the world, my dear one, you continue to do so via your unwavering confidence in the goodness of life, your kindness, and your compassion. Always remember that you are the origin of my affection. I will never forget that. To be a member of the road of being that each day brings new potential for growth, love, and the building of our connection, you should embrace these possibilities with an open heart and allow yourself to be a part of the path of being. Know that you are being transformed by what they have done to you as you continue on your journey. You are being molded by them to be fashioned by my loving hands into the fullest manifestation of who you are intended to be. I am so very proud of you for every single step that you take, every single time that you choose love over fear, and every single minute that you spend in quiet communion with me. These are all the reasons why I am so very proud of you. I see you. I see the difficulties you are going through. I see the weight you are carrying. And I am aware of the weight that you are carrying. There is no way to quantify the value that you possess, my lovely kid. I am asking you to let go of the old and make room for the new. I am urging you to let go of the burdens that are weighing heavy on your heart. It is time for you to let go and release what is no longer benefiting you. You limit what may be your hold on the past, on pain, and on fear, and it keeps you from embracing the possibility that lies ahead of you when you cling to what was. New when you cling to what was, you restrict what may be your grasp on the past. Totality of what I have in store for you. I am aware of your resistance to change, since change can be frightening and the unknown may seem to be overwhelming but bear in mind that I am the creator of what you are about to experience. While you have been pleading for more and yearning for change, you have been unable to go on because you are unable to choose how to proceed. Alteration, which is the originator of fresh starts, is the answer to the problem. 
it is important for you to let go of the suffering that has been a part of your life. Let go of the disappointments that have defined you for an excessive period of time, and let go of the previous version of yourself that you have been clinging to. This release, however, is not only a theoretical concept. Rather, it is a fundamental alteration that takes place inside your own being. It is very challenging to go ahead into a new future when your ideas and feelings are firmly planted in the events that occurred in the past where you have been. I have heard your prayers and felt your desire. Nevertheless, in order to enter into this new chapter, you must be prepared to close the doors that in the past have opened for you. I am aware that you are prepared for change. I have already heard your prayers and sensed your desire. There are opportunities that are waiting for you, but the keys that open doors in your past will not unlock those doors. Old one, it is time to remove the things that are no longer contributing to the renewal of life. In the same way that a tree sheds its leaves in order to make place for new growth, you too need to let go in order to make room for the new. My presence brings about a fresh start, and the process of letting go of the past is not always an easy one to do. Your ego, which you may refer to as your human nature, is resistant to change. It clings to the familiar, even when the familiar is unpleasant. Additionally, your human nature is resistant to change. I am giving you an invitation to have trust in the unseen, to have faith in the process of transformation, to think about the concepts, and to believe in the process. I am sending you this offer because I am no longer feeding you. All of the things that need to be released include the routines that are no longer in harmony with who you are becoming, the relationships that deplete rather than raise you, and the worries that have kept you incarcerated. When you release these things, you are sending a signal to me via the actions that you do. The fact that you are ready for more means that you are preparing yourself to receive the abundance that I want to bring into your life with you. I see the aspirations that are waiting to be achieved, as well as the potential that is already there inside you. You have been operating from an outdated paradigm that has been confined by your prior experiences and ideas that are no longer applicable. Unfold, but you have been operating from this paradigm. Making an effort to compel change or working harder is not the point here. What is important is that you create space for miracles to happen when you let go of the things that are preventing you from moving forward. Always keep in mind that not everything that happens in your life is a miracle. On giving up control, letting go of control, and having faith in both my timing and my overall goal. There are some occurrences, relationships, and seasons in your life that are intended to teach you and transform you. Nevertheless, after their particular purpose has been achieved, it is time to let go of them. The purpose of life is to go on indefinitely, that you are making room for something wonderful to enter your life when you let some aspects of your life to fall apart and when you allow things to slide away from you. Have faith in that when everything begin to fall apart. Emerge. I am aware that the concept of letting go may be terrifying. You may be afraid about what your life will be like if you choose to live without the familiar, even if the familiar has become disturbing. Nonetheless, I am demanding that you let go. I am giving you permission to let go. When you decide to take a step into the unknown, you can put your trust in me and know that I will be there to guide you through the process. Just keep in mind that you should keep your focus on what you are moving toward rather than on what you are letting go of when you let go of anything. Imagine that you are living the life that you have always dreamed of living, feeling the joy, peace, and satisfaction that come with living in accordance with your true purpose. Even as you let go of the things that are preventing you from moving ahead, let these visions to attract you to go forward. This process of letting go is not a one-time event. Rather, it is a practice that you engage in throughout your whole life. In this practice, you make a deliberate choice each day to let go of things that are no longer useful to you and to let go of feelings that are making you uncomfortable. You should let go of any expectations that are limiting you you should offer me your worries and concerns, 
and you should let your ideas come to you as they arise. In the event that you carry out these steps, you will find that you are lighter and more liberated. Throughout this trip, you will discover strengths that you were not aware you had. You will uncover skills that have been dormant for a considerable amount of time, and you will walk into the fullness of who I meant you to be throughout your whole life. Always keep in mind that I am traveling beside you on this adventure. In addition, even as you let go of old ways of being, my love for you will continue to be unwavering, and my presence will act as an anchor for you while you navigate these transitions. Do not be surprised if powerful feelings come up at this part of the releasing process. Give yourself permission to experience them. Whenever you feel the need to regret what you are leaving behind, to experience their full tears. Nonetheless, it is important to bear in mind that on the other side of this release comes rebirth, revere, and a new beginning. In the beginning, I am calling you to a higher level and urging you to go deeper. Before I can show you anything more, there is a great lot more that I want to do through you, and there is also a great deal more that I want to show you. But first, you have to create something. Give me some room, let go, and give me permission to instill a new trust in you during this period of change. Maintain faith in the things that cannot be seen, and be aware that I will be by your side when you let go. Placing everything in its correct position for your advantage, your breakthrough is on the horizon, and the beginning of a new chapter is just around the corner. So take a deep breath, my child, and feel my presence. I am here to help you, beside you, and when you are ready, open your hands and let go of what you have been clutching to with such a strong grip. When you let go, have trust that I will be right there to grab you and lead you into the great future that I have prepared for you. I will be there to guide you. Please know that I am here for you as you enter this season of release and rejuvenation. You are so deeply loved and so very valuable to me and I want you to know that I am here for you. I am pulling for you every step of the way. I have trust in you. I see the amazing potential that lies within you, and I can't wait to witness all that will take place as you courageously let go and let go of the past. It is important to keep in mind, my kid, that this process of letting go and regaining your strength is all yours. You should not compare your process to that of others. Rather, you should have trust in the timing and the way that it is unfolding for you at each step that you take in the process. Have an open mind as you continue on this trip and be prepared for the unexpected ways in which I may speak to you, guide you, or reveal new realities to you. It is important to have faith that everything you let go of is getting you closer to the fullness of who you were meant to be. During the procedure, it is essential to have a compassionate attitude toward oneself. I want you to know that I am rejoicing with you, taking pleasure in your ongoing growth, and that I am enjoying each and every moment of letting go and each and every little victory. Oh, my most lovely child, may you live your life in tranquility and dignity, secure in the knowledge that you are adored beyond all comprehension. Give your heart permission to be filled to the brim with the consciousness of my love for you and give it permission to move you. Remember that I am here in front of you, alongside you and behind you during each and every step of your journey. As you continue on your journey with optimism and courage, with your head held high, bear in mind that I am here on your journey. The unfolding of your being is with my love for you, is unwavering and unwaveringly persistent and I weave together moments of joy and growth that are both hard and peaceful. Every, every moment is carefully crafted by me with intention, a presence that nothing can diminish or take away from you. You are my most cherished creation, constructed with a purpose and significance at times when weakness threatens to overwhelm you. Draw from my strength when you are in the dark, seek my light when you feel like you are not worthy, and remember that I have called you worthy and that I have given all I have in order to redeem you. For the sake of making you whole, there is no price that is too high, 
and there is no distance that I would not go to see you content and enveloped by my love. I would do everything for you. Give my love the opportunity to act as a shield and a stronghold for you. Find a safe haven from the storms that life brings, and make it a habit to greet each new day with a sense of eager expectation. While it is true that not every day will be easy, each and every day has a purpose. Permit each challenge to serve as a reminder of the overarching goal that you are working toward. In addition to placing my hand upon your life, I have also placed individuals in your life who will encourage and support you. There are individuals in your life that are a source of strength that originates from me and I have put them there. Because you were meant to stay steady when others waver and to persevere when the journey gets difficult, it is possible for you to triumph over every problem that you face. It is already yours to achieve the success that I have planned for you. All you need to do is approach it with self-assurance. I give you the ability to triumph over every challenge and to walk in the fullness of your calling, the seeds that you have sown in your life. I am equipping you with the capacity to do so. Avoid allowing anxiety or uncertainty to impede you from making progress in your endeavors. I have seen each and every one of them, and they are flourishing and cultivating as a result of my love. I have seen the prayers that were spoken in the shadows, as well as the sacrifices that were made while no one was watching. Have patience, my child, since the tears that you have shed are not in vain because of your faithfulness. Beautiful days are on the horizon, days that are full with joy and abundance, and dreams that are coming true. Even if it seems as though nothing is taking place, I will make the most of this period of waiting, since I am now at work. My timing is perfect, and I will make the most of this opportunity. I ask that you please see to it that all I have promised you is completed successfully. Do not be afraid to go forward. You were predestined to achieve greatness. You were conceived with the intention of overcoming obstacles in order to motivate other people. There is nothing that can stop you from stepping into the destiny that I have prepared for you. And this is necessary in order for you to reflect my glory. While you are on your trip, my light will be at your side and my peace will guard your heart. Take on each new day with self-assurance. I have placed all that you need inside you so that you may feel secure in my presence and see as I transform difficulties into wins and setbacks into opportunities for growth. With the event that you make the decision to rise today, I will be preparing you for a future that is rich with opportunity and prosperity. The more you walk with me, the more you will see that my hand is operating in ways that will leave you in a state of marvel. Recognize that each moment is an opportunity to grow in love and joy, to become more of who I have designed you to be, and to lean into these moments with the understanding that each minute is a chance. Your attitude to each moment ought to be one that is filled with optimism and sense of purpose. I have called you, and I want you to rejoice over you with joy, loving you with a love that has no limiting boundaries. You are the medium via which I am accomplishing my goals, and I am working inside you. You are the source of my joy. Your phone has been rung. Since you are mine, my dedication to you will never waver, and I will give you the peace that comes from being conscious of my presence. I will call you by name, because you are mine. You will never be able to fully appreciate the depth of my love for you, and I promise that I will always be there for you. At this moment, I am standing by your side, directing you toward the prosperous life that I have envisioned for you. You are mine, and I have asked you to come to me. I have been at your side during every single prayer that you have spoken, every single tear that you have cried and I have experienced the weight of all that you have gone through. Whatever challenges you have faced, nothing about you has been overlooked, and the fights you have fought have not been in vain. When you plant anything with honesty and trust, it will eventually bloom and provide fruit for you in the future. A feast that will be beyond your greatest hopes, the growth of your relationships will be deeper, your soul will be replenished with joy and drive, 
and your profession will be more successful than you could have ever thought it could be. A feast that will blow your mind is being prepared for you by me right now. In spite of the fact that you are unable to see my hand at work, I am shaping each and every situation. The tribulations that you have endured, the perseverance that you have shown, and the confidence that you have placed in me will soon result in a harvest that is abundant than you could have ever imagined. When I am creating something for you that is beyond your wildest dreams, a period of plenty is on the horizon, and a season of plenty is in the process of coming. The reason I am doing this is for both your well-being and my own glory. The following is what I am putting up for you. I will transform your tribulations into songs of praise, your struggles into victories, and your scarcity into an abundance of anything you need. In the future, I will make sure that every need is met, and that every desire that God has given you is fulfilled. You should not be afraid to take advantage of this outpouring of openness. The windows of heaven are opening in plenty, and benefits will rain down in such a plethora that you will have a hard time containing them all. Music. You should have your hands and heart wide open to receive, and you should make use of knowledge with what I provide you. The gift that you have been given is not transient, but rather transformative. You must learn to be a good steward. It is not for you alone to show gratitude for every gift and to share what you get with other people. Rather, it is for the goal of benefiting the lives of those who are in close proximity to you in their hands, feet, and hearts. For the reason why in this world, many people who are lost will be found via you. Many people who are suffering will find solace, and many people who are in need will recognize that I am their assistance when they are in need of it. Trouble. Make sure that you remain close to me during each and every season, and make use of the strength of your faith and the depth of your relationship with me in order to retain the blessings that have been bestowed upon you. By regularly meditating on my word and praying, as well as by coming into my presence, you are able to strengthen our relationship. Through these activities, you will be able to maintain your connection to me and remain firmly rooted in that location. Your soul will be repaired and renewed if you come closer to me, seek me out, and draw closer to my word. Additionally, times of wealth will be even more plentiful if you do these things. Your faith and obedience should serve as the wings that carry you to greater heights. To my knowledge, there is no more effective mode of transportation than walking. Walking is not only a sequence of steps. I will liberate you from every kind of deficiency and every kind of bondage that you have ever experienced. When you make my word the center of your life, it has the power to create and give life to you. A place of laws, it is also a place of safety, a source of information, and the key to unlocking a life that is full and meaningful it is such a place that it is more than simply a place of rules. When you have taken the choice to trust me and have opened your heart to me, you will find that you are strong, secure, and capable of overcoming any difficulties that may come your way. Nobody or anything can stand in your way. As a result of your obedience, a foundation will be established for others who follow the waves of your faith. And everything that you do today will have an influence not just on your own life, but also on the lives of the people who are important to you. What you sow in the soil of your heart right now will continue to grow and produce fruit for a very long time after you have passed away. One's faith will extend far beyond what is visible to the naked eye. Continue, my sweetheart, and do not get tired in believing even when it seems that the circumstances are working against you while you are going through a difficult time. Maintain your steadfastness in my word, and I will provide for you and strengthen you. When you are traveling through turbulent waters, I will be there to support you and maintain you with my righteous hand. I will support you and sustain you. Due to the fact that I am your God, the rivers will not be able to overwhelm you. Strength and your support, continue to go forward with each step you take. I am guiding you toward abundance, 
Even in the darkest valleys, I am there. Walking alongside you all the way through, I am there for you. You will discover a sense of calm and the realization that you are never really alone while you are in my company. Because I am your shepherd, I am leading you to peaceful rivers and verdant pastures. The affection that I have for you will be shown to you, and my mercy will never end. Due to the fact that I am aware of the plans that I have for you, your future is filled with optimism. Neither will I give up on you. The future that I have in store for you is one that is brimming with optimism, and I want you to fall more deeply in love with me each and every day. This action is being taken for your advantage, not for your detriment. At this time of year, there is a season of abundant joy. Your home will be brimming with advantages, your resources will be increased, and the efforts that you have put in will be repaid in a manner that is very satisfactory. When you are surrounded by individuals who are significant to you, you will be able to harvest your crop with a sense of joy. I am the God of the impossible, the one who opens doors that no one can shut, and I am the one who bestows favor upon those who put their faith in me. You will see the manifestation of my power in your life, my love. In my realm, I am the God of the impossible. Know that I am working behind the scenes to arrange every event in order to bring about the most fundamental ambitions of your heart. This is true even though you may not see results right now. I am working on myself. Heart. My time is always perfect. I am aware of the desires that hold your heart, and you can depend on me to fulfill them in ways that are better to anything you could have imagined. I am always perfect. I am a good shepherd who cares for every need, and I will never forsake you, even in times of waiting. I am by your side. Imagination. Focus your eyes on the hope that I bring, knowing that I am a good shepherd who cares for every need. Be unwavering, my child, and do not waver when you are met with challenges or when the path gets difficult. I will be here to provide you with support, leadership, and direction as you work toward shaping and preparing yourself for the fantastic things that are going to happen in the future. When you put your faith in me in the midst of the storms that life throws at you, I will fortify you because my love is unending, and I will never leave your side. You are capable of overcoming any challenge, and there is nothing that is beyond your capabilities. Remember that I am your Aner. This is an essential point to keep in mind. Keeping you safe and grounded in reality is my responsibility. The Tempest will not persuade you to let yourself get taken away by it. I have an infinite amount of affection for you. In situations when it seems that there is no route, I will shed light on your path and make a way visible. Every circumstance will be overcome by me, and you will emerge more powerful as a result of each one. I am rooting for you and encourage you to keep going forward in this endeavor. All things work together for good, and your path is leading you to a place of glory and fulfillment. Your finest days are still to come, so proceed with courage as you continue on your trip. I thank people who love me for the experience. Despite the fact that the journey may be difficult, and it may have its fair share of highs and lows, you must remember that each step is a component of a larger total. Make sure you have faith and trust in the truth that I am the one who is in charge of your future. In preparation for you, I have already made all of the required arrangements, and I will be at your side during the whole of the journey. Be sure to rely on me and together we will achieve the objectives that we have set for ourselves. Raise your head up, my child, and face each day with the conviction that you will prevail over every obstacle that lies in your way. You will be successful. You are going to achieve triumph and glory in the future. You are loved, protected, and destined for greatness, and our vision for the future together is one that is filled with hope, joy, and blessings. Anything is possible when you are with me, and the future that we have together is one of the things that belongs to you. Your course of action is transpiring in a manner that is in line with my plan, and it will culminate in triumph, happiness, 
and the restitution of what was lost. In other words, what has been written in the sky cannot be taken away from you since it is written there. I am the God who restores and who fulfills every promise. I am rescuing and redeeming all that the enemy has stolen away from you. I am the God who will restore those things that have been broken to their original state when they are restored to their original state. I am transforming your sorrow into dancing and your grief into joy. Just as surely as the dawn breaks after a long night at the same moment as the sun finds its way through the clouds, I am transforming your grief into dancing. The tears that you shed and the cries that you let out are real. Bringing back the darkness, I am bringing light and joy into your life. I am building beauty from your ashes. The pleasure that is coming will greatly transcend the agony that you are carrying. Remove the weights that you are carrying off of your shoulders. I am bringing beauty from your ashes. In exchange for the happiness and hope that I offer to you, please take your worries, your fears, and your pain, and give it to me. The obligations, anxieties, and fears that keep you up at night are things that you were never meant to carry on your own. You were never meant to be responsible for them. Allow me to pull you up and carry you through every difficulty in my embrace, where you will discover strength and freedom. My yoke is easy, and my weight is light. Allow me to lift you up and carry you through every difficulty. If you are able to find rest in my presence, you will be able to harness the strength to confront tomorrow. When you are feeling spent and exhausted, I am the source of your strength. Whenever your spirit has been damaged or injured, I am the one who restores it to its original state. Shattered, I am aware of the thoughts that are running through your brain, questioning if you are worthy of the advantages that I have in store for you, and checking to see whether you are adequate. Please know that I am aware of these thoughts. Pay notice, you are more than adequate, not because of anything you've done, but because of who I am. This is true regardless of what you've done. My love for you is not dependent on whether you are successful or unsuccessful. Rather, it is unwavering and consistent, regardless of the circumstances. In the event that you are eternal, there is nothing that you could ever say or do that would cause my love for you to decrease. When it comes to my feelings for you, there is nothing that you can do or not do that will cause me to love you less. This love that I have for you is already all-encompassing. Despite the fact that you have flaws and deficiencies, my love for you has not diminished. And I take pleasure in you because you are mine. In spite of your shortcomings and shortcomings, I reflect on the affection I have shown to you. Despite the fact that you were unable to see me, I was working on your behalf to bring you closer to me and shape you into the person that you really are. Through the process of creating circumstances and putting everything in place, I was working toward the goal of you being who you actually are. I have not yet finished your trip, which is still unfolding with each new chapter revealing more of my love and more of my purpose for you. I have not yet finished your adventure. The knowledge that I am not yet finished with you should give you the confidence to go on. To you, my most cherished child, I pledge that you are loved in every way, that you are entirely known, and that you will be adored for all of eternity. My procedures are beyond the grasp of humans. They operate on a dimension that is higher, level in realms that are beyond the reach of mortals. But I say to you, rely on me, and go beyond the boundaries of what is possible. A significant portion of the time, Individuals make an effort to limit themselves with restriction. People have a tendency to either lash out or withdraw into stubborn mindsets, which are rigid thinking patterns, when they are faced with ideas that do not adhere to their preconceived conceptions. This occurs within the constraints of their limited cognition. Furthermore, regardless of whether or not you are aware of this fact, belief systems have the ability to become fortresses that keep you locked in a rut. My purpose in coming to you is to inform you that while you may have a prosperous life, you cannot fully surrender to it. In spite of the fact that I am still adhering to outdated methods of thinking, 
I am offering a new wine that may be regarded as it is necessary for you to be willing to let go of the past and embrace the present in order to have new wineskins demand that you do so. You are willing to try something new, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, just like you have learnt to do throughout your whole life. Giving oneself permission to change might be accomplished by acknowledging the unpleasant realities that are present in other elements of your life. As a result of what I have said, regardless of whether they instruct, encourage, or distract straight for an excessively long period of time, there have been a great number of individuals who claim to lead, but you, my word, have been given to direct the faithful back to the correct path. My people have failed to communicate the truth in a way that resonates with them, and as a result, they have developed a sense of complacency and contentment in order to preserve the status quo. I have made the decision to keep things as they are, rather than to publicly express my thoughts in an aggressive manner. This passivity has helped to foster feelings of anger, hate, and you should keep in mind that I established governments and divisions in order to allow them to establish themselves in my kingdom. I have the ability to raise leaders and bring them down in line with my desires, and I am able to achieve this with the assistance of authorities. In spite of the fact that you may not agree with those who hold positions of power, it is essential to show them respect and pray for them rather than condemning them. The people who are speaking harsh truths about them are not doing it out of malice. Rather, they are drawing attention to a problem that has to be addressed. They are encouraging my people to return to the path of justice, and there are aspects of the situation that need modification. For the simple reason that their messages seem to be, you should not dismiss them. Your comfort in everything should be called into question. You should seek my knowledge, and you should allow me to be your source of rejuvenation. While you are bringing your will into alignment with mine, your mind will undergo a transformation, and your level of understanding will significantly improve. Learn to live a life that is more full of energy and meaning than you could have ever imagined possible. This is something you can discover. Remember that I am looking at my child. In the viewpoint of the wider picture, things that may seem to you as roadblocks or distractions are often the same things that are the most important. Each and every challenge that you overcome presents you with a chance to grow and develop in preparation for the divine mission that you have been given. I take joy in you, and your prayers are increasing. I see every difficulty as a potential for growth, and every difficulty is a chance to push your faith to something deeper. I enjoy each and every moment of our connection, even when it is challenging, and I treat it as if it were aromatic incense. Be conscious of the fact that I see you through the filter of perfection, even if you believe that you are not deserving or that you are not enough. Your accomplishments are something that I celebrate regardless of how little they may seem to you, because I love you. My love should act as your compass as you go along your journey, and you should allow it to guide you in the right direction. Your thoughts are formed by the activities you engage in, and they ultimately flow out of you to have an effect on the lives of other people. When you love other people, you are able to accomplish your ultimate objective and become a mirror of my nature. This is because you love other people. Hold on to your faith, my lovely. In spite of the fact that the path may at times be winding and steep, I will be there to guide you through each and every change in direction. My strength is supporting you, my love is surrounding you, and my wisdom is directing you. You are surrounded by all of these things. Be courageous and persistent, my sweetheart, since the best is yet to come and the beginning of your journey is just around the corner. My love for you will remain steadfast while we continue to be filled to the brim with hope and promise, and will continue to be filled to the fullest. Over the course of our journey together, we will traverse every valley, ascend every peak, and rejoice in every triumph on the hilltop. During times like these, the world will put your faith to the test and the weight of uncertainty may be heavy on your heart. You may find solace in the thought that you are rooted in me, 
even when the storms are raging and the mountains are falling. The Word is a rock-solid foundation that is always there beneath your feet, even in the darkest hours of the night. Word is a foundation that is always there. Despite the fact that you are surrounded by darkness, I am your guiding light, and the words that I speak shed light on the path that lies ahead. The words that I have said to you have been uttered with purpose and authority over your life, and everything I have spoken will come to pass with time. Pass because my word is never made useless and worthless. It has the capacity to achieve my intention and flourish in its own right. There is a possibility that your journey may lead you into the wilderness. But, even in such locations, I will create roads that are straight and provide you with a safe haven to stay in. The prayer of those who are exhausted and the one who seeks comfort for those who have been hurt is not about achieving results quickly. On the other hand, when it comes to developing a more profound connection, it is the act of reaching out to other people when you are suffering a lack of exactly what you need. Darkness until my message speaks into your doubts, I'm opening doors of abundance and calm that no earthly human could ever expect to discover. I'm opening doors you have never considered before. You should not let the challenges that you are now encountering worry you while you are going through these exams. The force may shut down. You are not meant to be shattered. Rather, you are meant to be purified by fire, much like gold that has been cleansed by another fire. Provides you with the tools necessary to emerge fortified and shining even brighter as a consequence of having successfully overcome every obstacle. For the splendor that has not yet been shown, for those dreams that are hidden away in your heart, I have placed them in my heart, and I will bring them to a successful conclusion at the very time that I have selected. The fact that I am the one who guides your steps should be kept in mind whenever other people are unable to grasp the trip that you are doing. Continuing on in spite of the fact that the way forward is not immediately evident when your strength is insufficient. Rest certain that I will be there for you while you climb steep hills. My strength will be enhanced by your presence. Due to the fact that you are weak, I have chosen you for situations that are far more significant than you could have ever imagined. The goals that I have for you are even more ambitious than the ones that you have set for yourself, which may seem to be a piecemeal approach. In spite of the unexpected detours and delays that occurred along the road, I see the journey to you as having reached its conclusion. Aids you in moving in the path of the life that I have envisioned for you a life in which you will flourish and shine as a light of hope in a world that is filled with darkness. Given that I have already made preparations for the future, there is no need for the world to be terrified of it. Thus, even in the most hopeless of moments, when it may seem that your prayers are not being heard, they are being heard. Be aware that I am working behind the scenes to ensure that everything goes according to plan for you. I am working hard to have things go your way. I have guided your feet in the correct direction, and I will lead you along paths that are righteous. This is to your benefit. For the sake of my own glory, you have a purpose, and I am with you in the path that you are going. It is I who is the shepherd, and you are the sheep that I cherish the most. I will guide you to lush meadows where you will be able to rest and find a place to replenish your batteries. When your heart grows heavy, I will revive your soul since I am fed by calm waters. I am the one who will do this. I will bore your burdens, I will carry you forward, and I will raise your eyes to the horizon. It is there that you will discover the answers that you have been looking for for a very long time. To the extent that you are getting closer to my promises, you may be certain that my love will remain and that a blessing is on its way. Refrain from growing. It is impossible for my love for you to be defined or broken. Rather, it becomes more profound and more powerful with each passing instant. My love for you is boundless. Having to wait for you has worn me out. There is nothing more powerful than each passing second, more powerful than any force that exists in heaven or on earth. 
Throughout the whole of creation, there does not seem to be any angels or demons, nor does there appear to be any height or depth. You are mine, and you are safeguarded by my protection. Neither the unpredictability of the future nor the possibilities of the future can ever separate you from my love. When I start to feel a sense of fear seeping in, I remind myself that I am safeguarding my wings in the palm of my hand. When you allow me to be your safe haven and source of strength, when you are in need of continual aid, when you are willing to open your heart and put your confidence in me, the power that I possess will surge inside you as a result of your belief in what I have to say. While you are flying over the skies like an eagle, you will be able to run without being fatigued and walk without fainting out. You will have a crystal clear picture of the destiny that I have prepared for you by the time you reach the other side of the mountains to the at this moment. In the name of God, the winds that were before blowing against you will now be lifting you up. Dear Creator, in this moment of stillness I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your wisdom and guidance. I acknowledge the uncertainties that life brings and the challenges I face. I ask for your light to illuminate my path and for clarity in my decisions. Help me to trust in your divine plan, even when I cannot see the way ahead. Grant me the strength to persevere through difficulties and the courage to face my fears. May I find solace in your presence and peace in the knowledge that I am never alone. As I navigate my journey, I pray for compassion and understanding towards others. Teach me to be patient, to listen, and to offer kindness in every interaction. Let my actions reflect your love and grace. In times of doubt, remind me of the blessings in my life and the lessons learned through hardship. May I embrace each day with gratitude, knowing that every moment is a gift. I also pray for those around me, family, friends, and even strangers. Surround them with your love and protection. Heal the brokenhearted, uplift the weary, and provide comfort to those in need. Let us all feel the warmth of your embrace. As I move forward, help me to remain grounded in faith and filled with hope. Let your spirit guide me in making choices that align with your will. May I be a beacon of light to others, sharing joy and love in a world that often feels dark. Thank you for your unending grace and mercy. I place my trust in you and commit my heart to your service. As I gather my thoughts in this sacred moment, I bow before you with a spirit of humility and reverence. I come seeking your wisdom, for I am aware of my limitations and the complexity of the world around me. Please open my heart and mind to the lessons you wish to impart. Lord, Grant me the discernment to recognize the right path amid the many choices I face. Help me to understand the greater purpose in my experiences, both joyous and challenging. May I find clarity in confusion and direction in uncertainty. Let your light shine upon my journey, illuminating the way forward. In times of struggle, remind me that strength is not merely the absence of fear, but the courage to move forward despite it. Fortify my spirit with resilience and perseverance. Help me to rise each time I fall, learning and growing through each trial. May I embrace adversity as a stepping stone towards my highest self. As I seek to align my actions with your will, guide my heart to act with compassion and integrity. Let me be a source of encouragement and support for those around me. Teach me the power of empathy and help me to listen deeply offering understanding to those who feel lost or unheard. O oh Lord, in moments of anxiety and doubt, wrap me in your peace that surpasses all understanding. When the weight of the world feels heavy, let me find refuge in your love. Help me to surrender my worries into your hands, trusting in your perfect timing and plan for my life. May I always remain grateful for the blessings you bestow upon me. Let gratitude be my daily practice, reminding me to appreciate the beauty in each moment, whether in the laughter of loved ones, the warmth of the sun, or the stillness of nature. Let me see your handiwork all around me. I lift up to you my loved ones, 
asking for your protection and guidance over their lives. May they feel your presence in times of need and know that they are cherished. Help us to cultivate love and understanding within our relationships, fostering a spirit of unity and peace. In this world that often feels divided, grant us the courage to be peacemakers. Inspire us to rise above hatred and division, choosing instead to build bridges of understanding. Let us be agents of your love, spreading kindness and hope wherever we go. Thank you for the gift of life and the opportunities for growth and transformation. I commit my heart to your service, trusting in your wisdom and grace. May my life reflect your love and light in all that I do. Amin.